This tutorial explains how to use the two dimensional auto measure in Lisa. The two dimensional auto measure can be used to remesh an existing plane continuum mesh or to populate with plane continuum elements a closed boundary area of line elements. The line elements should be in the XY plane. If they are not, they will be projected onto the XY plane. And that area in the XY plane will be auto meshed. Use the Polyline Tool button to create straight lines. For accurate placement, use either Absolute Coordinates or Relative Distances. To create a circle or arc, use the curve generator. For a circle, type the diameter. Then, add the X and Y coordinates of the circle's center. Then, specify the number of line elements. Similarly, use the curve generator. For the arc, select three point arc. Type the coordinates for the starting point, its ending point, a third point on the arc, and the number of nodes. The elements created by the curve generator and the elements created by the polyline tool, although appearing connected, are actually not. The Open Cracks tool makes this clear. To eliminate the overlapping nodes, use Merge Nearby Nodes. Specify a small value, a radius within which duplicate nodes are replaced by a single node. The Open Cracks tool will confirm that the elements are now connected, forming a closed boundary. Now use the 2D auto measure to fill the bounded area with a mix of quadrilateral and triangle elements. By default, the mesh will be a mix of triangle and quadrilateral elements. To make the mesh predominantly with quadrilateral elements, select quad dominant. You could also consider using a higher order element by selecting the quadratic elements option. After a successful auto mesh, the original bounding line elements will no longer exist. If only a few large elements are created. Call the auto measure again, and specify a maximum value for the element size. The auto measure will fill the entire bounding area, with elements. And that includes any circles. Switch to circle selection. Then select the elements in the circle, and press the delete key, to create the hole. This ends the tutorial on using the two-dimensional auto measure. Please view the tutorial about local mesh refinement of plane continuum, and shell element meshes.